السلام علیکم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم مائی گڈ اسٹوڈنٹس آف گریڈ نائن آئی ہیو ریسیو کوشچن فرام گریڈ ٹین گریڈ الیون گریڈ نائن گریڈ ٹویلو بٹ فسٹ آئی ایم گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس کوشچن آرس بائی دا اسٹوڈنٹس آف گریڈ نائن دیر ڈفرینٹ کوشچن آئی واز ایکسپیکٹنگ کوشچن اباؤٹ سیلیبس بٹ دیر آر ڈفرینٹ کوشچن اوکے آئی ایم گوئنگ ٹو آنسر بیکاز کوشچن آر مور اینڈ ٹائم از لیس So, grade nine students, first question is, uh, uh, does Federal Board of uh, Secondary Education reduces, reduce the syllabus for 21, 2021? Yes, they have reduced the syllabus. And I discussed in previous video, this is lecture two, lecture one, I discussed the reduced syllabus of uh, the Federal Board, grade nine. So, uh, <clears throat> second question is, how many subjects are there in ninth class Federal Board? Uh, they, uh, uh, the composite subjects for ninth class uh, science group are English, Urdu, Islamiyat, Mathematics, Pakistan Studies, Chemistry, Physics, Computer, and Biology. Okay, you have cho choice to select either, I think, uh, either computer or biology. So, in grade, grade, from grade nine. So, next question is, how can I become topper in, uh, in class nine? Okay, so my... Uh, Uh, my idea about uh, you is, you know, if you are to become top or how to become top or in grade nine class, then you should uh, you should be you should finish the whether you are from SB uh, CBSC Cyber, uh, uh, Board India, you are from Federal Board of Pakistan, you are from Punjab Board uh, of Pakistan, you are from Sin Board, Rajasthan Board, Khabarpunkha Board. All overseas Pakistan is from federal board. <clears throat> first, every student finish the uh, class nine syllabus as early as possible, which is the first condition to become a topper. Do not, uh, I think, uh, waste time you study, okay, all the time. Solve questions every time you finish a chapter. That's one of the technique. Do not blindly mug up the theories, okay, different types of, you no. Know, solve sample papers after the entire syllabus is finished. So this is another condition. Uh, stay calm and confident, okay? Uh, don't shout, don't discuss too much. Uh, uh, it's a wastage of time. How many hours should a uh, year nine student study? So this is the next question from a student. She says, uh, okay, I will answer her question. Student will notice a significant increase in the amount of work uh, for their subjects, I think, which means that students will need to do a significant amount of homework each night each night, okay? Conscious students will do, I think, uh, at least two hours uh, per evening. This will equate to between at least 10 and 12 hours of study each week. Uh, I think uh, that's, that's a very clear answer uh, to, to this question. And you can divide it on the on per week, okay? Per week, you try to understand, uh, divide it per week. <clears throat> Next question is, which time is best for study? So um, for me, uh, I only consider uh, uh, that said by our elders, by us, we have experience. Science has indicated that learning is most effective between 10 to 2 p.m., 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. And from 4 p.m. to 10 p.m., where the brain is in an acquisition mode. You try to understand? Uh, on the other hand, the least effective learning time is between 4 a.m. to 7 a.m. So this is what very hard working students. You see the students in Korea, they sleep four to five hours only. Where do we Pakistani stand? Malaysia students working very hard. When I was a PhD student in Malaysia, you see, I, I, I have seen by myself uh, their hard work. Japan. Uh, I mean, students, they are working very hard. Even the buses, when you're traveling in Japan, you see people uh, opening the book, they don't waste time. That's the way a nation um, is built up for science and technology. So you have to study hard if you want to be a topper. How can I study smart? Another question by grade nine student. He says, from, I'm from Islamabad. I think studying... Uh, Uh, <laughs> is not is smarter is study smarter uh, not harder 
okay you try to understand uh, something i will tell you something for example reading is not studying simply reading and rereading text or notes is not actively engaging in the material try to understand understand the study cycle spacing out is good okay it's good to be intense okay but not too much silence isn't golden silence is good but not golden problems are your friend <laughs> but i consider personally now problem is your social media now if you are a student a grade 9 student your social media is now your enemy because social media kills a lot of time when you are a student you are serious you want to become proper you should not use social media away from social media okay only use social media for education for example as i have youtube videos you can watch youtube videos get the guidance many other people they have this type of education your books your time your your study table your eating uh, okay habits and uh, exercise these things you should pay attention and next thing i will tell you reconsider multitasking that's very important switch up your uh, setting okay sometimes setting is not good that's why you can get good marks which is the sleeping time for a student one student asked me i think uh, the american academy of sleep medicine recommended has already recommended that children aged 6 to 12 years should regularly sleep 9 to 12 hours per 24 hours and teenagers aged uh, 13 to 18 should sleep 10 to 8 uh, 8 to 10 hours uh, per 24 hours so this is uh, uh, study smarter not harder okay <laughs> so you see, yeah, this is what i i told you and the next question is from one student from atabad she says why is year 9 so hard i don't think it's so hard for your first time in grade 9 that's why you think it very hard so it's commonly attributed to hormones but researchers from uh, national uh, university of west uh, center for education statistics and evaluation uh, in the united states they say they have found a uh, puberty has little to do with it the real problem is that year 9 feels unloved the sense is that expectations are lower okay in year 9 grade 9 the tolerance for disengagement is higher so that's why you feel it difficult otherwise it's not difficult is you engage you are systematic you are doing such study in a systematic way it's not difficult you are punctual you are discipline minded and you are hard worker your food is good your uh, running time walking time or exercise time is good that's not difficult for you next question is from new delhi india one student says how can i study fast i know indian brain is <laughs> very fast my child uh, i can i can tell you some ways uh, back by science okay not from my personal point of view to speed up the learning process that's why you can study fast uh, number one you can say say out uh, loud what you want to remember okay uh, take notes by hand not on computer that's you know hand and mind has a big relation science says chunk your study sessions test yourself Ch- change the way you practice okay um, i was practicing in front of the mirror because i have no brother and sister so i was doing it in front of mirror i thought mirror is my teacher is teaching me and i'm communicating to him that was my way you can adopt any other way exercise regularly uh, because healthy body has a healthy mind if you are uh, your your mind is healthy because your body is healthy your body is healthy your mind is healthy then you can become a fast very good and fast student of our study exercise regularly get more sleep the business has to learn several subjects in succession that's one of the reason another question from a student uh, uh, karachi uh, uh, baldia town she says why we forget uh, what we study uh there's a medical relations sometimes you don't have study habits that's one of the reason you should have reading habits the most common reason why students forget is because the material is under learning you try to understand to remember something it must first be learned okay there is stored in long memory or term memory of your mind there is a short memory and there is a long memory so you must first store the material must read reading reading when you read the whole um, 
a book of english for example something come in your short mem long memory then you go for study and short memory will be active for you if you don't do what is necessary to get information to your long term memory you have under learned the material and forgetting is normal so that's why when you try to start learning you forget okay this is one of the reason another uh, student uh, from uh, dubai uh, she says i live in uh, old dubai uh, i have been to dubai i know old dubai like gari chowk and these bazaars okay uh, okay she says how do topper study i have already explained uh, okay once again i explain for you always keep in mind the topics to be studied in various subjects okay and at the end of your daily study make a mental note whether you fulfilled the goals of the day after that find out the reasons for any deviation and take remedial measures for any distraction of diversion okay my uh, next student how do i motivate myself to study yeah motivation is a big problem i saw some students in the morning they have exams uh, they don't have any more motivation and they go for uh, a night cinema so um, that's the you need a motivation you should be motivated you should have an aim uh, destination that i have to do ninth class is a board exam or whether i am in cb uh cbsc board whether i am in federal board of pakistan whether i am in punjab board whether i am in sindh or rajasthan or khyber pakhtunkhwa board so whether it is a bangladeshi board uh, so every student of grade 9 should be motivated for his study should not waste time okay there are some ways to motivate you number one acknowledge your uh, resistance and difficult uh, feeling with motivation okay do not run away you try to understand fading up is not the solution of anything okay you should be sticky to your job you are a student your profession is a student that is your job you should be sticky do not blame yourself for procrastination now and then i'm late i'm late i'm late no 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 not at all do not blame yourself try to understand your studying style better okay don't question your abilities your abilities may be more than others okay you don't know visualize yourself starting okay and focus on task at hand so when you have chapter 1 don't run for chapter 9 no first finish chapter 1 focus on it uh, okay uh, then uh, next question is uh, from a student in kuwait she says there is a pakistan embassy school here i am a student and uh, now my ninth exam is very near i think uh, 90s are are to be conducted in uh, may june so i'm waiting and time is too less how can i study whole syllabus in two days uh, this is a very funny question how can you finish the whole syllabus in two days really i don't believe this type of question this is a very unexpected question uh, the optimum period of continuous study is two hours you try to understand each period of 2 hours can again be broken down into slots of 24 minutes of solid studying followed by 5 minutes of break okay if you need to continue studying take longer breaks of around 20 minutes after every 2 hours you try to understand this is the solution but the whole syllabus you can't finish within 2 hours sorry i'm sorry to say there is a big no um, you can manage the time and you still have time up uh, to may june you you have a lot of time you manage your time you make your time table uh, fix it on the wall according to the subjects and then sit here on the table and you know i told you good food healthy food exercise and the timing i told you morning and also in the evening so that's good and in between we nap in the in the at 4 o'clock 3 o'clock after you take the lunch so that's necessary to manage yourself next question is uh, is from so we we have one student says i am in damam there is a pakistan school in al khubar i am a student there how do i study when when tired i have a tired some feeling i think there is a medical condition but uh, um, um, i can't tell you but i can use some ways to remove it uh 
Check out uh, surefire ways to study when you are tired and sleepy. Tackle the easier things first. That's my advice. Okay, and chew gum. That's what makes you active, okay? Try to understand. That makes you active. You think you're doing something. Brain message, okay? Uh, drink plenty of water because uh, you should not feel something. Get some brief exercise because when drinking plenty of water, uh, you, you don't feel anxiety feeling. Get some brief exercise. That's how someone says, study, uh, set your study goals first. Avoid distraction because when you are sitting, you open the book, your mind is distracted. And most of the distractors are, one of the big distractors now is social media. You sit here, open the book and then you have a mobile, okay? You have a mobile and in the mobile you see, you, you feel that you have, this is the mobile, okay? Oh my God, you say, this is my mobile done. And then you see there's a Facebook message. There is uh, something on the Instagram. There is something from Twitter. There is something from your YouTube. No, no. These are distractors. Don't pay attention on them. Study means studies, okay? Chomp on nuts. You try to understand, okay? Revive destruction. Uh, next question is uh, from one student from Jeddah. She says, I'm in Pakistan school, Jeddah Azizia. I, uh, this is the last time I was failed and uh, I have now supply. Uh, I think federal board doesn't call it now supply. They arrange uh, an exam, but they say it's not, they will not write on your degrees as the new information I have received. Uh, she says, watch something that scares you. Why something that scares you? Really? Uh, this is your advice? But your question is difficult. You know, this is your advice. Okay. For what? Uh, this is, uh, you, you, you say that you, you have to, uh, I mean, it's medical term. Okay, no problem. I, I repeat your original question. The original question was, how many hours a day can you effectively study? It depends on your strength. How much your strength is very, very nice. Okay, body power. Although studies are still uh, inconclusive on the topic um, in medical science by educationists, based on our research, most students can study about seven or six hours per day. Still, uh, still stay effective. However, the total time can vary, different depending on numerous factors and is different from student to student. Because student to student, why is different? You have different mind, other student has different mind. Okay, somebody has some problem that his parents are very poor and the father, when she says, bringing very difficulty, money is earning and the, the admission form was sent and tuition fees was given and she's very, very sympathy, has sympathy for her parents. So she will try to become something. That student has a special attitude. So this is something, uh, personal is different from student to student. Uh, another question is from a student. <coughs> she says she is in Oman, Ibri College, Ibri School. <coughs> you cannot say college, Ibri School. Huh? Ibri, there is a school, Pakistan school. Huh? Okay. Uh, what to eat, avoid uh, sleep while studying. Ah, oh, you have feeling of okay. Food which is high on fat can make you sleepy and lethargic. We try to understand. Uh, if you, in the morning, you take uh, uh, four, five, six breads with uh, uh, with yogurt or with uh, butter and jam and two, three uh, cups of uh, sugary tea, so the whole day you will start sleeping. Your mind will not be active. People take uh, slight food, one or two bread, pieces of bread, or in a cup of coffee, okay, black coffee. That makes with a good weapon if you don't have a high blood pressure, okay, hypertension. If you don't have hypertension, then you can take it. To stop yourself from falling asleep during the studies, I have something which I told you, 
eat a balanced and healthy diet rich in nutrients and fiber okay such as you can take soups salads lentils and a lot of fruits and vegetables okay you try to understand what i'm saying next question is from sharja she says i'm in a pakistan school in sharja how can i increase my study hours i think uh, there are different techniques uh, to improve your study habits <clears throat> some i know i can tell you uh, find a good studying spot okay this is very important for example when i was a young boy i was going in company bag sitting on a bench and looking at the trees green trees uh, birds were chirping awake uh, and you know a lot of <coughs> a lot of uh, sparrows crows and a lot of uh, pigeons you know flying and sometimes parrots were flying in a, in a company bag uh, from the military uh, green and and in this uh, i was enjoying the winter you know sunshine and enjoying my study so that was that gave me a lot of good health not only but also uh, i was enjoying there was a canteen in multan cantonment which we call company bar and whenever i wanted i was taking a cup of tea and some sala good company good canteen was there some uh, bread slides and you know so a cup of tea so this is what i made myself uh, in a lonely place greenery i was sitting that's my technique i think stay away from your phone with i have heard told you your your phone is your your enemy if you are a student <laughs> because it has a lot of social media for you you want to be good student in your study avoid from social media give time to social media for half an hour separate from your study time okay uh, and if you don't have will power you try to understand improve your will power to study take a break and uh, take care of yourself always taking breaks because for example when i my study method was in malaysian hospital i was sleeping two hours working and then one hour sleeping usually phd students they work uh, 20 minutes 30 minutes one hour and the four hours they sleep because phd is a high level study that creates a lot of tension uh, cognitive load we say in scientific language it creates on students mind a cognitive load that's why a student cannot study properly rest is the best okay uh, then organize your lecture notes how can you organize uh, you can i was using coronal notes you can you know there are famous coronal notes go on the youtube videos and see coronal notes and make your coronal notes arrange uh, your lectures in a coronal notes style okay then join or create a study group try to understand uh uh aroma therapy is also very nice with plants or music like this you know music itself uh, so i can not say because uh, uh we are muslim but <laughs> really there are different ways of therapy uh leave time for the last minute review that's also necessary how do i become a top student top student the first condition to become a top student is that is a question from a student abu zabi pakistan school abu zabi she says how can i become a top student okay the first condition i told you to become a top student is get organized okay making a plan this type of habits you must have to become a top student get organized making a plan for what you are going to do and when you are going to do it and oh, it will make sure you are you are always ahead of the curve literally you try to understand for example you have to finish chapter 1 today you should finish chapter 1 and chapter 2 first question also so that's a very nice way okay don't multitask it will upset your mind divide it up sleep good sleep is good set a schedule take notes study okay uh, <clears throat> manage your study space also you sit on a table set a table okay set a board where you have to place your task and targets or to do this 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 okay 
if you have a laptop, keep a laptop, calculator, books on one side, you know, Almira for the books, you have a book library, <coughs> okay? Uh, so, uh, one important thing I've already explained, coffee. Coffee is probably the most widely consumed, uh, uh, you see, tropic beverage, no tropic beverage. Uh, I think this is a type of uh, uh, beverage that is making mind very active, okay? Or green tea is also good. Green tea's caffeine content is much lower than coffee. Because coffee is more caffeine. Some people in Africa, they also have kombacha. What you can take? Orange juice. Orange juice is also good for health. Blueberry juice, green juices and smoothies you can make. Uh, okay, turmeric lattes you can make, okay. Adapter gen lattes you can make, okay. Uh, a student uh, from, another student from, uh, she says she is a student, Rasul Khama, CBSC class nine. She's preparing now under preparation now. How can I top nine class? Uh, how to be a topper in nine class CBSC? That's your question. It's the same question is already asked by Pakistani students. Uh, I think if you are CBSC student, finish the CBSC class nine syllabus as early as possible. That's the first advice I give you. Do not waste time as you study, many things, okay? Solve questions every time you finish a chapter. Do not blindly mug up the theories, okay? Solve sample papers after the entire syllabus is finished. You try to understand, stay calm and confident, okay? So think that class nine is very easy. CBSC class and exams are one of the most important ones and so students should be very cautious with the preparation procedure, okay? Focusing on the study is necessary, but think that my class is very easy, okay? Uh, <clears throat> don't think that you can fail in class nine. As one of the students, I received a um, question from one student, he says, I'm in al Kober school, uh, can a student fail in nine class nine? This is, the, this is a very funny question because if your mind is now, uh, his arm is in May, June, so <clears throat> how will you study? You should think to become a topper to get a first division. You should think that you will get first division to be just pass. You should think I will be passed. I, I'm going to try to pass. Maybe you are failed. So this is one of the reasons your mind should be good and high. I think more than 36%, uh, for example, 4,392 out of 11,996 class nine students in government schools across the country failed to secure even 25% marks in summative or half yearly assessment that I have from uh, your board. I have the, some, some figures from your board. Okay. Uh, this, you should try to, to try to be. Uh, next one saying uh, from the book, there is a person's book, the pool in the book is coaching Sessi for class nine. Uh, student wants to mostly go to coaching centers because they don't want to uh, lag behind the, uh, in the race to take the, uh, you know, exam success. Unlike earlier times uh, where teachers were for students who need extra help. Today, coaching is considered to be essential for every student and parents think it is necessary. But this is the business of the academies and colleges in, in Pakistan, India, and Bangladesh also. So that's right. Uh, uh, once, okay, the science of your question, but the same as uh, she says, her uh, brother is also in grade and he thinks, what if? He fails in nine, grade nine. <laughs> Students who have failed in grade nine and 11 will be given another opportunity to appear for school-based tests in view of COVID-19 crisis. The Central Board of Secondary Education, CBSC, has announced the school can conduct either online or offline exams for the failed class nine, 11 students so you must understand, same is for federal board. Last year, due to COVID-19, they passed, uh, uh, Every student who appeared in full exam, did not miss any paper, he was passed. They gave him, you know, passing marks. 
So this is my answer to your question. Uh, uh, your second question is forty a pass mark. It varies from exam to exam. Some consider forty percent of total marks obtained to be passed. Some consider thirty to thirty-five percent score to pass in an exam. Let me assume that in your case, forty percent of total marks obtained are considered to be passed an examination as forty percent of your total marks. That is forty. Uh, 16 marks is considered as pass. So this is what I'm saying. So uh, third question, you have too many questions you have. <laughs> tuitions, good for students. Uh, I think tuition can work for some students and can be quite beneficial to them as well. Their main objective is to devote all the attention to the students and class their theories and concepts and help them improve their grades in the process. We try to understand this is what I'm saying. That's why uh, if you think that you have to, you have to get it, you should get it, okay? So um, I say find a workplace you prefer. It's better uh, when you, you have any, your second question, how can I pass my ninth class without studying? Uh, to pass exam without studying, I think find uh, a workplace you prefer. Find a suitable, workplace that is comfortable and be ready to spend your last minute uh, okay there you try to understand some of the requirements and ditch your distraction okay be prepared with your paper notes textbooks water bottle and all these and your mind you know the syllabus okay and you have the ability to write okay then you can pass that's all for today because time is going to finish now i don't have much time I, this already we have over video now. So thank you very much, my grade nine students. I have questions, uh, many questions from grade 10 students who are appearing in uh, June, July in Punjab board, Sin board, board, and also in uh, uh, Balochistan board. Some CBS students send me questions about grade 10. Uh, some questions I received from Bangladesh. So most of the students are, are, are for federal board, overseas Pakistanis. You try to understand, they ask me the different questions about grade 10. Uh, and grade 11 and 12, uh, I've received I don't know, a few questions, but when I have, I will. But first, after this, you will have a video about grade 10 questions, students' questions and their answers. Thank you very much. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. I'm with you. I make your life easy, and I make your exam for grade 9 easy for you. Uh, Subscribe the channel so that you should get uh, from the lesson one good notes of your uh, class. Thank you very much. Bye.